Good morning. It is Thursday, May 13th. Today we're going to talk about the ascension of Jesus into heaven. Today is Ascension Day, uh, 40 days after Easter, 10 days before Pentecost. And the ascension is not a feast that we pay a great deal of attention to in our day, in our church. But John Calvin thought it was one of the most important uh, days to celebrate uh, of all. Easter and the Ascension were the ones for him that were the big, big ones. Um, the Ascension is told at the end of Luke, the very end of Luke, and the very beginning of Acts, and it's almost the same tale. Of course, Luke wrote both Luke and Acts. And Jesus is with his disciples, and he gives them some final instructions and a blessing, and then he just rises up, ascends into heaven, and is, vanishes into the clouds. Essentially, the same tale is told at the end of Matthew's gospel, where he tells them to, um, gives the great commission to go and make disciples of all nations, and then he just rises into the cloud. So, some people have spent their time wondering, well, where did he go? You know, does that mean that heaven is up there somewhere? Or, what? You know, he went to be with the Lord God. He ascended into heaven, sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty, as the Apostles' Creed puts it. And so, uh, this sort of completes his life. He he uh, was incarnate, was um, born of Mary, became a human being, was, was uh, you know, put on trial and, and beaten and crucified and died, rose from the dead, and then ascends into heaven. So he sort of made the whole journey. He's back where he was, um, back where he belongs as the Son of God. And the Ascension tells us that um, there's hope for us. Uh, we're not simply going to die and that's it. We're going to die and then at some point we'll be raised and taken up to be with God in wherever God is, you know, in, in this kind of metaphorical language or something because we don't know exactly where God is. The ancients thought that, you know, hell was deep under the earth and then there's the earth and heaven is up in the sky. But we know better than that. But we don't know where it is that you go when you go to be with God. It's a different, what, kind of existence, a different plane of existence or something. Um, we really don't know. Except that um, the ascension tells us for sure that we have this hope. Uh, so Jesus has completed his earthly ministry and gone back to be with the Father, and we too will go and be with them um, when the time is right and when the time comes. That's our hope, and we look forward to that. That's why we should pause today and remember uh, the ascension.